Hi and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about the influence of the antenna orientation on Wi-Fi vast fall detection systems. My name is Pablo Emanuel Londoño Melo. Let's go! Well, several systems have been developed for this purpose using well-established sensors technologies such as acoustic sensors, cameras, vibration sensors and wearable devices. However, an innovative technology has emerged in recent years, device-free monitoring based on radio frequency or RF signals. The RF signal at the receiver will exhibit fluctuations caused by absorption and reflection from moving persons moving in the vicinity of the transmitting and receiving antennas. Why monitoring systems? Well, RF monitoring systems are not intrusive as the user does not need to wear sensors and they also protect users privacy as no image are captured. According to the World Health Organization, 37.3 million older adults require medical care each year due to falls and injuries. Falls are infrequent of brief events compared to ATLS such as walking, running or climbing stairs. This means that these events must be detected from a different point of view to provide timely medical assistance in the event of a fall. Well, I will show the table one where a summary of some of the most common technicus and their characteristics is provided. The first system is based on the vision, which includes the processing of digital images. This system is affected by the quality of the image recorded by the video recording equipment. This implies that high resolution equipment is necessary, which implies a high work cost. For this system, the first thing we need is to obtain a model of a human boy with head, torso and legs. In addition, camera protection artifacts must be considered to avoid misdetection. Then we use the description of the movement of the model of the human boy body. A, a feature analysis can be static dynamic. In the static analysis, a morphological model of the behavior of the fall is made. In the case of dynamic analysis, the change in movement determines the presence of abnormal events in everyday movement. The second system is about wearable devices that use accelerometers, gyroscopers, magnetometers and inclination sensors. Tools in general propose devices that are managed by the human thing. These sensors work at different frequencies, which can vary systems sampling rate. As consistent, it is necessary to determine the speed at which the fall event is registered and select the sensor that best suits this condition. However, the sensor location in the human body directly affects uh, system detection performance. Another big problem is that wearable sensors can use discomfort to their carriers. How may 
not be accustomed to using such devices. The third system is based to environment, which use sensors integrated on the inner environment. These sensors can be acoustic. They're, they're the transmission of sound waves is affected by trajectory change caused uh, by obstacles in their environment. If so, the change in the trajectory are recorded and characterized to determine if a fault occurs. Also, due to the natural of the sound waves, the transmission can be degraded by the effect of multiple paths. This gives that by monitoring more than one interior environment, the implementation of a high number of sensors will be required. The biggest problem with this system is that they tend to be expensive due to its immense implementation and the large number of sensor use. Well, this is the table. This is the first table uh, that is the most common technicals and their characteristics. Uh, the vision, level, environment and the best important is that radio frequency based. Well, what is the double effect? Well, measures the speed of a car in relation to the frequency of these electromagnetic waves. In summary, the radar, the radar sends the electromagnetic signal to the vehicle and receives the rebound signal. This different cause allows the speed to be calculated. The frequency the difference also allows to capture with a camera the image of vehicles in many cases. This effect uh, is that use the bats. For example, well, the next few uh, figure shows a block gram, a diagram of these three stakes for a system based on the Doppler signatures of Wi-Fi signals. In the seizing phases, a probe signal is rendered by the transmitting antenna. This signal is not intended to carry data. It is simply a means to interact by the mechanism of electromagnetic waves, reflections, with the, pro the objects in the vicinity of the racing antenna. If the probe signal in fineness of a moving body in each a falling person, then the reflected signal will suffer an apparent frequency sh shift due to the Doppler effect. This frequency shift depends to the speed and acceleration of the moving falling body and it therefore produces a spectral Doppler signature whose feature can be used to detect a fall event. The Doppler signature of the received probe signal can be used EJ by following the spectrogram concept. Spectrograms provide information about the spectral destiny density of a signal within a short observation time interval. In fall detection, the signals are time varying and non-stationary. Therefore, spectrograms are excellent to tools to analyze such signals. This is the example. Well, conclusion. A study of the impact of antenna polarization in classification 
accuracy was performed in order to determine this impact. An indoor Wi-Fi platform was building with general purpose equipment. The platform used RF Wi-Fi signals to measure fluctuation caused by human movement without the need to carry any devices. Design and development of the platform were presented as well as the fall experimentation protocol with volunteer subjects at an operating frequency to of uh, 2.14.2 GHC we record the Doppler signatures on a series of spectrograms during testing. Two scenarios were proposed the characters effect caused by antenna orientation that impact the performance of the platform. Thank you and see you later. Bye bye.